Brady has thrown one, tying Peyton Manning for second behind Drew Brees. And it's a one-point game with 9.01 left, and Julian Edelman is back on the field for New England. Drive start for the 41. Brady play action over the top. Edelman's back. Edelman 40. Edelman 30. First down at the 29-yard line. It's a gain of 30. Once again, strong running game allows them to attack the middle of the field. You see the motion here, but this is where they love to work. And nobody better at work in the middle of the field than Julian Edelman against the zone. And great job reacting to Poyer coming up as he makes the catch. Perhaps underappreciated. It's hard to say. Super Bowl MVP underappreciated, but it's 97 catches on the year, closing in on 1,100 yards. Don't talk about him like a number one receiver, but he performs like one. Michelle on the run to the 21 yard line. And Peter Edelman back, and the Patriots moving the ball. And Mike, let me paint the picture of what it was like when he came out of the locker room. It was almost like a professional wrestler. He came sprinting up the stairs onto the sideline. Brady, big hug. Jacoby Myers, big hug. He is the spark plug this offense has been looking for. And you saw, obviously, on the field, he can make the plays. One note Marcus Cannon, the right tackle, is out for the rest of the game. All right, so it has been Marshall Newhouse since late first half, and protection has not been an issue. Brady has not been sacked tonight. As we come to halfway in this fourth quarter, Patriots driving for the lead. And it's Michelle. Good patience by Michelle to the 15 yard line. And it's a first down for New England after the Jordan Poyer tackle. This may be the best that I've seen this Patriots offense look all year long. Off balance, being able to attack. The run game is so huge with what they like to do, attack in the middle of the field off of the play action. We've seen four or five plays tonight. But they really look like a team that's starting to put things together, and you wonder. Usually do it late in the year. It's been a little later than normal, but they look good tonight. On the 14, Brady to Michelle. Trying to get to the edge inside the 10. Sony Michelle will gain just over five. Don't you feel hurt? They have an identity tonight. Like you know what the Landon Roberts, the linebacker, has been at fullback. It feels like about 20 snaps or so. They have run the ball very often, 30 times. Almost like Cincinnati last week gave them a little window to maybe this is the best us we can be. And the only thing you wish, I think, when you watch the way they play tonight, you wish they had somebody that could be the big playmaker for them. That's what you feel they miss. Very methodical, very efficient tonight with the football, but just tough for them to create big plays with the guys they have out there. Second and fourth, Burkhead inside run. He is a yard shy of the first down at the five yard line. It'll be third and one. And this is really where they've had their biggest issues. You go back to the first game against Buffalo, only touchdown they got was on a blocked punt. Tonight they got the one touchdown pass, but they've been down here a number of times. Buffalo tightens up. They haven't been able to create anything to get them into the end zone. Settle for another field goal, takes the lead, but you got to feel like the Patriots want to get in the end zone here, put pressure on that young quarterback. Got Edelman down here, and Ben Watson, who last caught a touchdown for the Patriots 10 years ago. A Brady sneak gets him to the two. First and goal, New England. He's done it so many times, and he does it again. So many times. He's really good at finding the soft spot. I don't think anybody on the Bills thought they were going to run a quarterback sneak in that situation. So the linebackers were four or five yards deep. He was able to just put that head down, get across the line. Bills trying to sub in, and Sean McDermott's going to run down trying to get a timeout. He did not. Oh, no, yeah, they're going to give it to him. Wow. They're going to give it to him. McDermott was running down the sideline trying to get a timeout. There's a flag for too many men on the field, but I think they're going to give him the timeout first. Before the snap, first, charge timeout, Buffalo. This will be a 30-second timeout. So they were trying to get their goal line personnel off the field or on the field, depending on how the setup was. And you'll watch McDermott as they're at 16 bills there, and Sean McDermott's calling timeout. And Carl Johnson, the line judge on this side, recognized it and granted the timeout right there. You saw Johnson didn't make a signal, but you can see his mouth was, the whistle was coming up to his mouth to blow the play dead, and he deemed that the timeout was granted before the snap happened. And thus timeout Buffalo. 
Nice hustle by Coach to get down there. The ball goes into the end zone. Huge turn of events. Let's see if the Patriots can find another way to get across that end line or if the Buffalo Bills once again stiffen up and force them to a field goal. Five oh eight to go. Bill Belichick trying to get win three oh five. Only Don Shula and George Hallis more wins in the history of the league. They're trying to find the way to do it. Matthew Slater is in the game for a rare offensive snap. First and goal from the two. We'll move to the one. As Jordan Phillips went fast. Encroachment. Defense number ninety seven. Half the goal. First down. You know those big guys up front knowing that the power run game is going to come right at him. You're trying to get every little advantage as you can. Phillips just jumping a little, little bit early. So again Slater is in there the special teams legend as Slater who. As uh, McDermott's making sure he gets a player subbed off the field the proper way on his side of the field Slater 18 in there. 19. And he's in motion first and goal. And Brady gives to Burkhead, who is bouncing off a tackle and into the end zone for a go ahead touchdown. Flag down back end of the play. And the Patriots have already signaled that they're going to go for two. So will this try come from closer? And sportsmanlike conduct is the call. And Belichick being explained his options at this moment. Bad conversation with Josh McDaniels. You want to? After the score on sportsmanlike conduct, defense number 97. New England has elected to put that penalty on the kickoff. Mm -hmm. okay. That penalty is the first in the category. If number 97 gets another penalty in the same category, he will be ejected. That's Jordan Phillips. So the option there was taken to the one or taken on the kickoff. And uh, Belichick waiting there talking with Josh McDaniels must feel good about the two point play they have here from the two. As opposed to getting to the one and running it. Or the two. It'll be Brady throwing. Double clutch it. And Edelman's got it. Four, 17 New England. Here's the touchdown. We'll see a couple of Buffalo Bills meet Rex Burkhead in the backfield. One up top, one down low. Great job running through both tackles. Not going to be denied. We've seen Burkhead do this a couple times tonight. And both of the outside backers, Milano had a chance, then Alexander had a chance. Burkhead kept those legs going. And then Edelman the two point conversion to wrap up the seven play 59 yard eight point drive. You see Edelman just a little drag route grab there. And Micah Hyde as he's going across and you see the emphatic spike there. As Shregs was saying earlier the spark plug for this team when he gets the ball everybody in the stands is, is getting up. He brings the energy. And Josh McDaniels, who chose to go for it from the two with that play, he's as into it as well. Isaiah Wynn, the left tackle, lifting element, who's given this team a lift, as Peter told you when he came back out 